In the beginning, you know, you don't know, you hear this kind of news, you don't even know what to do with it. It's kind of like, what do you mean? Why do we need extra help and why can't we just be regular and why do we need anything different than other people need? I actually joined the Visa Katie program. Being Tadaka and Davening when I lit candles and thinking it was a beautiful organization. And then when it turned around and became something that we were actually benefiting from as opposed to something we were just, you know, being a part of. Really the week that, that it was our names for Vizakini and I, that, that Shabbos, you know, I was lighting candles, I really felt like there was just an army of malachim that were just from these sisters, thousands and thousands of sisters that were just all davening for someone they don't even know or maybe they do know or think they know but it doesn't even matter. They just all Davin, and I really feel like all their tilos turned into a malach tashem, and they all stood there and protected us for that week. The Vizakini women and anybody that has heard about our journey, they just wanted to help when it, however they can, and they really did. They davened for us. Hard to even describe like the feeling that we get of, from the Jewish community, from people who really wanted to help in any way they can, total strangers, somebody they don't know. And I and because of that, I feel like I should pay it forward too. And I should also help total strangers. And I do, and, and with Vizakini now, Kanainahara, 50,000 women, it's, it's, it's a lot of women. <laughs> you know, it's hard to imagine.